my name is Monique and I am from the Lizard Wizard. Uh, today I'm going to be talking a little bit about all the turtle species that we keep here because I miss being able to do shows so I'm just going to show them on a video for you so I hope you enjoy. First off here I've got Turbo. Turbo is a short neck turtle. A little bit crazy, a little bit unsettled to hold as you might be able to tell. I'm usually a pro at holding turtles but with this guy it's a little bit difficult. <laughs> Turbo came from an adoption service for reptiles, so he was dumped at the front door of a veterinary clinic and then adopted out to us here. So Turbo is a lot darker than the other turtles that you're going to see coming up. He doesn't normally come to shows, <laughs> Turbo doesn't normally come to presentations, as you can see he's quite scratchy and difficult to hold, and that's just due to, he probably wasn't handled too much before he came into our care. Turbo lives in a pond rather than a fish tank and he really thrives in that setting because he can hide a lot more in a pond than in a fish tank. We can't see him swim around. He lives by himself. He does better, much better by himself. Get it, he doesn't get along too well with uh, um, turtles. And he's actually shedding at the moment. You might be able to see on the front there, so he's got a bit of a leaf. But on the front here, he's sh uh, shedding his shell. So turtles to grow, they will peel off parts of their shell. So that's what Turbo is doing right now. Turbo loves to eat fish and he's been eating some clams at the moment as well. Um, I'd love to start getting my turtles onto worms as too because worms are really good to help them fatten up a little bit. Um, but of course during the winter time they do slow down a little bit more with their food. So yeah, that's Turbo. So next we have Boris and Sunny. And Boris and Sunny, they are, I believe, their old owner said about eight years old. And they are the same age, but very different shell sizes. So Sunny obviously has struggled to get to the food a bit more than Boris. So now when we feed them, we just make sure that Sunny <laughs> gets a little bit extra over uh -huh. Boris when there is feeding times. They both have a really good appetite, so there's no problems <laughs> with them eating. They really enjoy their fish and clams and basically anything that you put in there, they will eat it. So <laughs> these two are the most common ones that you will see at the shows that we come to. Just because as you can see, I'm barely holding them with two hands here. They're super relaxed and super easy to hold. Also you may notice that their shells are, or their shells, and their skin is a lot lighter than Turbo's. So these two actually came from a young girl who had kept them since they were little babies. Um, they had outgrown their setup, so she decided that she wanted to move them on. I adopted them from her. They're both doing really well with us. Uh, definitely the friendliest turtles out of all the ones that I have. A lot of people ask at shows how they can get turtles and how they keep them. It costs a lot of money to set them up at the start. And they're a big commitment. So not a lot of people realise that turtles can live for 75 plus years, if, if you're lucky they'll live after longer than that, but they can definitely live very long, much longer than a dog or a cat. You need a big tank for them, something that they can, you need something smaller when they're a baby obviously, and then something that they can grow into as an adult because they do get to the size of a dinner plate. Pet shops will sell them, they call them a penny turtle because they're tiny. And people might say they grow to the size of their environment, which is not true. They grow to the size of a dinner plate. So yeah, you need a water heater as well because they like their water to be at a nice, comfortable temperature. You'll need a filter, a very strong filter, because these guys really make a mess of their water. Um, you'll need to be able to buy fish and worms and whatever food that the turtle will require. So yeah, they are a big commitment, but they are very worth it. I love my turtles. A um, lot of the people that we see at our shows absolutely love the turtles as well. But yeah, so that is Sunny and Boris. So next I've got Barney. Barney is another short neck turtle. I got him a few months ago from my local pet shop. Barney had unfortunately been brought into the pet shop from his previous owner. Barney was bought by a dad for his daughters. With all the best intentions, they grew up, got bored of the turtle, the turtle went back to the pet shop. Unfortunately, the lady at the pet shop wasn't sure who she'd be able to rehome him to, so she asked if I could take him. So yeah, now Barney lives with us. He struggled to eat proper fish and clams and things when I first got him, because his whole diet was mincemeat. It's not something that they'd be eating in the wild. Um, I try my best to mimic what these guys would be eating out in a river somewhere. So a little fish. Um, he's incredibly overweight because of that he was very overfed um, 
He didn't eat for a little bit when I first got him. It took him quite some time to get used to fish, but he's really come around to it now and is eating properly again. We also had a bit of moss on his shell, which is really common for turtles that are kept in dirtier conditions. They can grow a bit of moss on their shell. We've given him a bit of a scrub and he's doing really well. Again, yeah, Barney's a pretty, pretty easy turtle to handle, as you can see. As soon as I take him out of the tank, he just retreats into his shell. A lot of kids at shows will ask me if these guys can put their, they want to see their whole head go into their shell, but these guys they can only sort of tuck their heads into the sides and their feet into the sides, unlike a tortoise that can fully pull its head back into its shell. Also these guys, you can tell that they're all river turtles, these guys have toes. So they've got toes for hanging onto rocks and the bottom of the river and things like that. Unlike sea turtles that have the bigger, just sort of fins that they use to swim, because uh, they don't really need to hang on to much in the ocean. That's one good way to tell where um, the turtle has come from. But yeah, that is Barney. So last but not least is our newest turtle. This is a long neck turtle. His previous owners called him Voldytort. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that name. But that's just what's sticking for right now. I've already taught here. I'm a bit unsure of age. When you're adopting, that's one bad thing about adopting animals is that when you do get them, you're not 100% sure of how old they are or the conditions that they've come from. Like this guy here, he's had some pretty rough shell growth. Turtles, their shells should be more of a flat shape. He looks a bit more of a bowl shape. We put him in a much bigger enclosure than what he was in before we got him. Voldy taught he was being fed crickets. Uh, crickets aren't the most ideal diet for turtles. Uh, again, it's not something that they'd be eating in the wild, so it's not something I'd want to feed them. We're trying to swap him over to fish, not taking to fish too much, so we're going to start working on maybe feeding him some worms instead. Um, because he is only, he's a very little guy and I'd like to see him grow a little bit more. And yeah, so Voldy Tort hasn't come to any shows yet. We're just trying to get him comfy uh, living here and eating his food properly before the animals come to shows. I want them in the best condition possible. Hopefully get him up to back where he needs to be health-wise and him out at shows to show you all. Yeah, thank you so much for watching the video. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, but hopefully you enjoyed.